Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening, Milton. Eh, le comunico al teacher que tengo un problemita con el Zoom este, con respecto al audio. Mi, estoy con una laptop de ahorita porque mi computadora está arruinada y se oye un poco bajito. Así que ahí me disculpa. Ok, Milton, no problem. Una pregunta, teacher, eh, aquí en Zoom se pueden ajustar las preferencias de audio. Mm, sí, creo que sí. Eh, tiene que irse. Tendría que salirme, ¿verdad? No, como Zoom tiene dos pestañas, dele en la en donde no estamos nosotros y le da al donde están los settings, donde está como el. Ay, ¿cómo se llama esa cosita? El, ¿Dónde está el engranaje? Ah, pero ahorita no me aparece. Yo creo que mejor lo voy a hacer para mañana. Es que la cuestión es que estoy con unos audífonos inalámbricos y, y el Zoom no me, lo, no me los agarra. Porque he estado, estaba todo este tiempo que he estado esperando, me ha estado funcionando bien. Pero ahorita que entré a Zoom, no me trabaja. Sí, ah, chévere, una, una preguntita, ya pasó lista. No, la todavía, puede ver. todavía no, todavía no. Bueno, ahorita voy. Bueno, I'm, I'm going to give you a couple Thank of you. minutes to, to enter. Okay, and then I'm, I will check the attendance. Okay, good evening, everybody. We are in our last week. Okay, and how are you? How was your weekend? Are you happy or sad because of the World Cup? Is your team winning? Uh, with much uh, work. A lot of work. In the weekend, also on the weekend. All the week. Okay. 
Okay, section five. Today we're going to, to work on section five. And for today, the topic will be um, sports. We are going to talk about sports, okay? So let's check the attendance. Aleida? Present teacher. Excellent. Ana Maribel, Andrea, Andrea Eugenia, Brandon. Present teacher. Okay. Brian, Diana, Diana Pamela. Are you there, Diana? Present teacher. Okay. Dolores Patricia. Present teacher. Excellent. Fabiola Pamela. Present teacher. Excellent. Present. Right. Yes, Fabiola. Fernando Jose. Not here yet. Heber Virginia. Ingrid Maricela. Present teacher. Excellent. Jorge Antonio. I am ready, teacher. Excellent, George. Carla Susena. Present. Okay. Carla Patricia. Present, Miss. Great. Maria del Carmen. Present, teacher. Excellent. Marlene Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Great. Melvin Rodrigo. Present, teacher. Okay. Milagro de la Paz. I'm here, Miss. Excellent. Milton Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay. Rene Giovanni. No yet. Silvia Patricia. Present. Okay. Susana Yasmin. Present teacher. Okay. Wendy, Wendy Beatriz. Wilber Samuel. Stanley. I'm here. Excellent. Okay. To start with the class, we are going to do the conversation, the conversation practice, okay? Okay, we have, so Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you really you are a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Okay, questions about vocabulary, pronunciation. Um, athletic. 
athlete. You athlete. are a good athlete. Athlete. Yes. Okay. The athletes are the a person who practice a sport. Okay, like every day or or regular 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 regularly. Teacher, este, ¿cómo se pronuncia donde, eh, donde dice, where do you play? Uh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa? La A con dos L. Oh, oh. When, oh. When, oh. when do you play all these sports? Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. All. Acuérdense del All Star, por ejemplo. All. Okay, no more questions? So we can make the, the groups. No questions? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let me make the breakup rooms. We are... Okay, enter to the breakup room and you have three minutes, three minutes to practice the conversation. Okay, ready. Okay. Enter to the breakup room, please. Okay. Silvia, entra al, al, al grupo. Al... Tienen que irse de, de acá e irse al breakup room, a, lo, a la sala. Melvin, Susana, Diana, la sala. Go to the breakup room, people. Maybe go to the breakup room.
Okay, welcome back. Vamos a ver quiénes se quedan. <laughs> I practice, I practice very short. I think it's an excuse. <laughs> no, because I don't have a, a picture. I, I send it on, 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 on the, to, the, to the WhatsApp group. Yes, but the when they send the picture, the time very it was short. Late. <laughs> <laughs> it was too late. Yes, sorry. Okay, so welcome back. No problems. Did you practice something at least? No. Yes. Yes. I practice. Okay. Muy bien. Here we have a list of, of sports. Okay. So I'm going to say the number of the picture. Okay. I have here the pictures with numbers. And I'm going to say the name of one of you. For example, if I say Milton, number, number one, you are going to tell me the sport. Here we have the list the, of sports. This is the soccer. I oh, know, it's the volleyball. Volleyball, okay. So I'm going to write it down. Okay, it's here. The number number two, Azucena. Sería jogging. Jogging. Es que veo que está trotando. Okay, number two, this one. What sports it is. Here we have the options. We have two lists. Tal vez. The number. Running. Running. Yes. Running. Thank you, Ingrid. Running. Okay. Number three. Carla Patricia. Number three. Carla Patricia. Is is two. This one. You are going to tell me the sport we have. Food. Which one? Como es norte, no verdad? Es skin. Skin. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Remember, o oh, a veces le llaman también um, sky. Okay. Uh, skyscape, yes, skyscape. Okay, number four, Marlene. Uh, boxing. Boxing, yes, boxing. Number five, Dolores. Baseball. 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 Yes. Number six, Diana. Eh, no sé cómo se llama escalando. No sé. Rock climbing. Climb. Rock, Rock climbing. climbing. 
we have we can yep. practice climbing in different in different scenarios you can do it uh, in, in a mountain you can do it in a wall podemos hacerlo en diferentes lugares in general is climbing pero en este caso because of the place it it is called it is called rock climbing okay rock climbing así yes Okay. And number seven, Hebel. Hebel, number seven. What is the name of the sport? Table tennis. Table tennis, yes. Okay, what is it? Ah, uh, here. Number seven. Number eight, Dolores. Dolores. Sí, 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 aquí estoy, aquí estoy viendo. Es mmm, como de ping pong, ¿verdad? Tenis, no. A ver. Como se pronuncia en inglés, este. Mmm, su, bad, eh, la que está. Badminton. Mm -mm. Sé que es de, de, de tenis, pero. Ah, no, aquí está. Eight. Eight. Number eight. Ah. Pero ver. Fútbol americano, es eh, verdad. Uh -huh. América. Fútbol. Fútbol américa. American football. American yes. football. American mm -hmm. football. Football. Okay, George, number nine. Okay. My hobby are is golf. <laughs> golf. That's in your, your my, favorite. In my hands are. Uh, really in bands. I don't. I, I don't money in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's the sports of the rich and famous people you know the poor is uh, very uh, uh caro expensive expensive yes yes, yes it's very expensive it's expensive because of the place okay you need a a huge place to practice yeah. um golf okay golf, yeah thank you Melvin, number 10. Ah, oh, Melvin es el que va manejando. Si va manejando, don't worry. Stan, number 10. Hola, teacher. ¿Cuál era, perdón? 10. Hola, hola, teacher. Number 10. Oh. Surfing. Surfing, yes. Okay, Stanley number 11. Stan. Va manejando, puso ahí. Ah, él es el que va manejando. Okay. Fabiola, number 11. I don't know, teacher. No sé qué deporte es ese, la verdad. ¿Qué okay, milagro? Bowling. 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 Yes, bowling. Como Galaxy Bowling. Yes. Thank you. Number 12, René. Ahorita, ya busco. 12. Sí, ahorita lo busco. Eh, Thirteen, Brandon. Sí, hombre. Thirteen uh, is football. Football soccer, yes. Yeah. 
Sí, no, no hay un ciclismo. It's ah, ciclo, ciclo. Cycling. 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 Ok, thank you. Que... Silvia, number 14. Silvia. Es fútbol. Fourteen. No, no, ese es. Oh. Ice. Hockey. Ice hockey. Hockey. Ice hockey. hockey. Ice hockey. Yes. Fifteen. Aleida. Tennis, teacher. Tennis. Uh, no, look yes. at the ball. Look at the ball. Tennis is sixteen. What about the fifteen? Who knows? I think, I think badminton. Badminton, yes, badminton. That's 15, 16, yes, it's tennis. 17. Teacher, sorry. Teacher, el 15. ¿Qué, qué deporte es? El 15. Así en español. Badminton. This one. Badminton. Yes. Ese deporte se juega con un gallito. Es, así le, se llama, la, la, no es pelota, sino que es una cosita que, que se llama gallito. Yes. Ah, gracias, porque sí nunca lo había escuchado. Ok, number 17. Basketball. Basketball, yes. That's my favorite. Yeah, it, yes, I love it, basketball. Yes, NBA. My yes. 18. Fernando. Gymnastic. Ah. gymnastic, yes. Gymnastic. gymnastic. <laughs> okay, Aleida, 19. Yes, uh, swing. Swimming, yes, swimming. Swimming. And the 20. Swimming. Rugby, yes, the last one. Rugby. There is a movie about, about this sport. Well, Okay, so we have football, soccer, or soccer, baseball, American football, rugby, basketball, tennis, ice hockey, volleyball, golf, skiing, bowling, boxing, gymnastics, swimming, Surfing, badminton, running, uh, uh, no, rock climbing, running, cycling, and table tennis. Okay, here we have 20, 20 sports. 20 sports. Questions? Uh, teacher, the Fútbol, o sea, los americanos dicen fútbol, o sea, y si, y si es fútbol, fútbol americano, solo fútbol. Y para el que nosotros, este, aquí en Latinoamérica, solo dicen soccer. Yes, correct. Yes, fútbol, well, in United States, 
Football is American football, but they don't say American football. Así como dice Milton, they also say football. And to the football, as we know, is soccer. Okay. Yes, that's correct. Okay, Michelle. now. Yes. Eh, cuando hablan de rugby y badminton no tiene traducción al español. No. It's the same. No. Yes, it's the same. El, el badminton se juega como que se ve una mezcla de voleibol con raqueta, porque tiene una red alta. Y en cuanto al rugby, es, jugar, es pues, como el fútbol americano, pero se juega sin protección. Y más que todo se juega en Europa, Inglaterra y Australia. Yes. A... Sí, los hindúes también lo juegan. Oh. Pero no tiene traducción. Yes, o sea, it's the todo, same. Es, así es. Ok, so now, let's do... We have some collocations regarding to sports. Okay, how we are going to combine the, the okay, in this case, we have a sport and we have to add a verb. If we have to say we are practicing that sport, or if we are doing that sport. Y, así que eh, para eso vamos a usar estos collocations. We can use play, go, or do. And here we have a list for each collocation, okay? You are going to use go, dice ahí, for sports than ending in ing okay for example bowling camping cycling dancing well dancing is not a sport but it's a an activity or, or i don't know because we have competitions right okay fishing golfing uh, hiking ice skating running scuba diving snowboarding, surfing, swimming, okay? If the sports end in ING, you are going to use go, go. Go bowling, go camping, go cycling, go running, go cycling, go, go climbing. Y este es como algo lógico porque la mayoría de estos se practican outside. So you need to go to a special place to practice the sport. Okay, then we have do. We are going to use do with sports or activities, okay, that we do it without a ball, without a ball. Okay, one of the characteristics of the sports is that in general, we use a ball to play. But in this case, if the sport does, the, doesn't need a, a, a ball to play, so you have to use do. In, so we have aerobics, exercise in general, uh, push-ups, sit-ups, yoga, a warm-up. Okay, because you doesn't need uh, you don't need anything. Okay, to to do it, only your body, your body movements. So we have do aerobics, do exercise, do push-ups, do sit-ups do yoga, do a warm up. Okay, and the last one uh, in the most common or the easiest to remember is play, okay? Play, it's for sports with that, that you practice with a ball, with a ball. And they have competitions, okay? They're, they are competitive. 
So you can win a place, or we have a team who win and a team who lose. For example, badminton, baseball, basketball, football, hockey, ping pong, or uh, esa sería la otra forma de llamar el... ¿Cuál era? Tenis de mesa. Tenis de mesa. Yes. Yes, tennis table, right? A ver, what is it? Table tennis. The table tennis. Table tennis or ping pong. Soccer, squash, tennis, and volleyball. So those are sports that use a ball. Que, eh, aunque eh, ya sea big, small, or eh, with something eh, specific for the game, like the badminton ball, que decía, ¿cómo se llamaba Milton? La que usan en badminton. Badminton. ¿Cómo se llamaba? El badminton. La no, la cosita que, con la que juegan, ¿qué dijo usted que se llamaba? Gallito, dijo. Gallito, dijo. ¿Cómo? Gallito. Gallito. En español lo conozco yo. Ah, ok. Así se le llama en español. It's a ball, but it has el gallito, right? So, no matter the characteristic, but if it is just a ball, que it could be a big, a small, el gallito, or something else, but it, 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 it uses a, a ball, you have to, to say play. Okay, play. Questions? Uh, Here we have more. Yes. yes. Juan, eh, con respecto al, al a, mencionan ahí más que todo en la anterior que vi que había más deportes como el scuba. Scuba diving. Sí, driving porque son diferentes tipos de buceo porque está snorkel driving. Esta escuba, escuba es con, con, con un tanque especial o un equipo especial. Scuba diving is with a... a snorkel. Ajá, uh -huh, I think. Ah, oh, que yo sepa, el escuba es un, es un equipo especial. Pero bueno, no sé yo cómo. Yeah, uh, quiero ver. But here to, to... Aquí no tenemos ningún... ¿Por qué buceo? Porque es un buceo más de profundidad, teacher. Por eso he, lo, lo he visto en ciertos programas. Por eso le comento. Ok. Yes, and we have snorkeling. I think snorkeling is the, is the other one. Ok. Yes, could be. Ok, ready? With this part, because then we are going to do exercises. Do you have questions? Go if they am in ING. Do if they do, don't, don't need a, a ball and play if they use a ball. Yes? Una pregunta, teacher. Yes? Este, ¿Qué significa warm up? Imagino que calentar, warm up? ¿verdad? It's warm up, calentamiento. Before, before you play something, you make a warm up. Warm For up. example, before a match, a soccer match, the soccer players run and stretch to warm up. Para que no le dé calambre a la hora de jugar. Okay. Calentamiento. Porque sit up son sentadillas, ¿verdad? Yes, sit, sit ups, yes. Las push ups, sí, si es así, creo que son fechadas. Uh, push up. Yes, push, push up. Artijas. Yes. Okay, now let's do the exercise. Here it is. 
Okay, we're going to start with Marlene. We have trampolining. Go, do, or play. Marlene? Eh, it's go. Go. Okay. No. I think this one, it's... Uh... Oh, es que, es que yo vi la regla que decía que go son los deportes que eh, terminan en ING, por eso le decía go. Yes, but I think in this case, it ten, tendría que ser do, because it's like, como cuando hace yoga or aerobics. Algo como en donde solo utiliza su cuerpo. Yes, but according to the rule, yes. Okay, okay. aunque termine, perdón, perdón, teacher, aunque termine ING como estaba el anterior. Yes. O sea, esa, esa sería una okay, excepción. Let's try, let's try, quiero ver. No, no se puede cambiar. Después vamos a, lo vamos a hacer nuevamente. Ok. okay. Okay, George, badminton. Okay, ready. Uh, play badminton. Okay, correct. Milagro. I, baseball. Baseball? Mm -hmm. Play. Play. Play, yes. Dolores. Swimming. Do. Do. Uh -huh, sí. Sure. Nah. <laughs> go. Go swimming. Carla, gymnastics. Do. Do. Yes. Azucena, rugby. Play. Okay, play. Yes. Diana Rowan. Go. Rowan. Do rowing? Do, are you sure? Yes. Okay. No. What should I do? Play. Go rowing. Okay, rowing. La de Femen. Femen, rowing, okay? That's rowing. Athletics. Um, Ingrid. Do. Do. Yes. Brandon. Mountain bike. Uh, be uh, go. Go. Yes. Yes. Okay. Aleda, handball. Fernando, ah, handball. Play. Play. Yes. Muy bien, solo. Okay. Ah, let's see here. Okay. 
Y vaya, veamos la primera. Okay, let's try with do. Yes. Do trampoline. Okay, do trampoline. Solo con ese tenían duda, ¿verdad? ¿De ahí las demás? Sí, They were clear. Sí, con esa, porque por terminar con ING. Yes. Muy bien. I'm going to send you the link if you want to practice. Okay. Now let's move to the book. Here we have a conversation and we are going to complete with double H questions. Okay. In la in la conversación in el modelo, they were using uh, some double H double H question. Okay, cuando dijimos que íbamos a utilizar the double H, double H questions. When I it? need more information. Yes, when, when you need to know more, more about, about something. Okay, so ya habíamos visto cuáles eran las double H words. A ver, can you tell me what double H words do you remember? How, why, what? When, where, where, why, where, how, why, who, who, mm -hmm. y ahí vimos otras también. No, how no. often, las combinadas. How. How, ah, okay. Las que how, no empezaban directamente how, con double H. How do you ever? How however. often? Much. However. Okay. How, how much? Yes. Have you ever? Have you ever? Have, um, quiero ver. Yes. Muy bien. Entonces tenemos what, who, where, how often, when, what time. Okay, those are the double H words. And we have some examples of double H questions. Okay, now we are going to complete this conversation using a double H words. Okay, let's see number one. I watch sports on television every weekend. Really? What sports do you like to watch? Soccer, it's my favorite. Okay, let's continue with the conversation. Milton. Okay. Uh, okay. The, la B. Yes, la respuesta es on Sundays. ¿Qué necesitaríamos entonces? ¿Cuál double H word? When. Yes. Okay. When do you usually watch soccer? Okay. Then... Let's continue with Hevel. Next. When do you usually watch soccer? On Sundays afternoon. Vamos con la siguiente, Hevel. Uh, Fabiola? How do you? 
were in yes correct where 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 porque dice where? yes at home me pregunta todavía where correct ¿Qué sería where and where do you usually watch, watch it? At home? No, at my friend's house. He has a really big television. You know, conversation two. Uh, let us start with Brandon. Um, how do you go by riding? How? Look at the answer, once a month. Está hablando de how often? How Hi. often? Yes. Uh, how, often. How, how often? How often do you go bike riding? Oh, about once a month. I love to go bike riding. I go every Sunday. Really? Okay, continue, Silvia. Okay, look at the answer. Here, one o'clock. Okay, vamos a preguntar, what double H, what, what time? What time? What time? Yes, correct. In what time do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Oh, yeah. Andrea. Who? Who? Yes, but because the answer. Okay, who? Who do you usually go with? Correct. Y ahí en el video les hablaba un poquito acerca que habían dos formas de hacer esta pregunta, ¿verdad? Utilizando who. Pero dice que si utiliza who, que who do you usually go with? El who y el with siempre van en la misma pregunta, solo que van separados. Que okay, who at the beginning and with at the end. Who do you usually go with? Okay, or who do you live with? Or, yeah. okay. Pero también mencionaba la otra forma for asking um, for a person. And it is whom, que les decía yo, que, que podíamos también utilizar el whom, eh, que en, eh, en este caso sí iría al principio de la, de la oración. Ok. Wait, no, se trabó. Ok, va entonces el whom, va al principio de la oración y ahí ya no va a utilizar el with. Ok. Serían, serían como las... Who do you usually go? Whom do you usually go? Whom do you usually go? Si utiliza el whom... Ahí ya no va a utilizar el with. Si utiliza who sin la M, que we have who, dice que en el inglés americano de la forma más utilizada, más utilizada es who en with at the end. Pero que también si usted, usted utiliza whom, it's also correct. Siempre siguiendo la estructura. Que, que se dio ahí de double H word, luego va de auxiliary, 
Then, a ver, what is a question? Uh, then I think uh, the, the, the verb, uh, what sports do you, I know the subject, and then the verb at, at the end. Okay, entonces, aquí sí va, who, y al final, with. Y en cambio en el whom, no. Ahí no, no, no necesita poner el with. Porque como yo les decía, este es más como para quién. Y el who is more in general. Entonces dice que los dos se pueden utilizar, pero siguiendo esas reglas. Yes? Teacher. Yes? If I say with whom are you working? So it, it is... It's not okay. Who, with whom, whom are you working? Are, whom are you working? Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. but it's not not common. It's not common use. It's grammatically correct, but mm -hmm. like uh, like cultural not accepted. Y okay. es como que no se utiliza. Se utilizan más el who en with. But it's correct. Si usted, utiliza, si usted dice, whom do you work? Whom do you work? Ok, esa era, ¿verdad? Whom do you work? With, with whom? With whom are you working? Uh, with whom are you working? With whom are you working, for example? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, it's correct. Now, make a, an example in simple present. Haga un ejemplo en, en presente simple. Milagro? Yes, miss. Give me an example using whom, but in the simple present. Porque el que me dijo oh. es... Um, with ING. With ING. Uh-huh, with ING. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I have no example right now. <laughs> okay, okay. I think comes in my mind. <laughs> okay. Entonces, mm -hmm. but in resumidas cuentas, yes, it's correct, but it's most common así en esa estructura. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Muy bien, en the last exercise. Que okay, complete the conversation with questions. Que okay, dice, I like a lot of sports, but I really love volleyball. Okay, mm -hmm. y en este caso tenemos the question, what sports do you like? Then we have, I usually play with my sister and some friends. Okay, type your question. Uh, escriba la pregunta para ver cuál cree usted que iría ahí. ¿Qué pregunta iría ahí? I usually play with my sister. Y aquí le voy a ir poniendo yo las, um, las claves. Para que usted vaya utilizando las double H words que son apropiadas para la respuesta. Ok, start typing. Number two, who has it? Nobody. Todavía nadie. Escriba la pregunta, type the question. Only Milaro and the rest. Yes, that's correct, Milaro. Number three. Hey, people, are you there? George. 
Yes. Tell me. What are your questions? Dije, escriban las preguntas aquí en el chat, not on paper, in the chat. When do you practice? Okay. Y los demás. Oh my God. I will fall asleep. Number three. Thank you, Marlene. What time? Correct. What time do you practice? Or what time do you play? What time do you play volleyball? Okay, and the last one. The last one, the last one. We usually play in our yard, but sometimes we play at the beach. Where? Where? <laughs> where? Yes. Where do you play? Where do you play? Where do you where do you play volleyball? Where do you play volleyball? You where do you play? usually play? You Excellent, you Fabiola. Yes. Great. Okay. Espero que hayan practicado. And let me check the attendance one more time. Andrea? Present teacher. Okay. Um, Fernando? Hebel? Present teacher. Present teacher, present, present. Okay. Ah, Fernando. Rene Giovanni? I'm here, teacher. Okay. Don't be lazy. Take a shower. Okay. Uh, Don't forget to take a shower. Wendy. See you tomorrow. Wendy isn't here, right? Wilbur? Present, present. Okay. Muy bien. So that's it. We're going to continue tomorrow. See you. Tengo una pregunta y algo de esto que han enviado. Te dice 43 de tu número. Ah, bueno. Sí, pero. Ajá. Eh, otra cosa, dice fecha 4. Aquí. Ah. Sí, dice fecha 4, dice. Ah, ok. Ahí va. Ay, sí, yo, coach. Yo, como George. Bye, George. Bye, bye. Get rest. You. Ok. Ah. <laughs> Tomorrow on fire, George. Yes, on fire. Tomorrow, because today mm, you no. on fire today. Okay, tomorrow, yes. Okay, be ready tomorrow. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.